of this moving vlog. So we're actually just carrying on from yesterday. Um, so yesterday when we left off, we just chilled and um, had a really nice dinner and spent the first night in the new place. Molly, come say hello. What do you smell? Say hello. This pickle was so happy to be here last night. So today's plans, we need to go back to the old house, hand over the keys to the owners and just get like the last few minute things. And then we need to go to Builder's Warehouse to go and get locks for the doors. And then we need to go to like... It's called Mumbo's here in Cape Town, um, but basically it's just like a storage space. We're thinking for our spices in the kitchen, we might want to get like little glass jars and then put magnets on the back so that we can stick it on our fridge, just because we don't have that much counter space. And like, we have a spice box of all our spices, but that is too big for the counter. That is the plan for today. We might also have to go to Mr. Price to go and get like some baskets for laundry. And then the rest of the day we are just here sorting out stuff. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys on the day. and stuff that needs to go on my lap and a table which Juno's not going to fetch but that is insane our plan now is just to declutter the bedroom because as you can see it has accumulated a lot of mess so we're going to declutter this and then just get some like detergent and wipe down the walls and give them a good proper clean and then like vacuum and sweep the floor because under there there's like yeah just a ton of dust and then we're also probably going to do the study, obviously just like decluttering, but that also needs like some manual labor. So we're not going to get into that right now. So I think our main focus is the bedroom and just getting that organized and sorted and nice. lots of storage our plan is to see if these screws can come out and then try and take the whole bed piece off and then also because these aren't flush against the wall at the back we want to see if we can push these cupboards back a bit or even potentially take like this one out and then just keep this one because this has got like shelves there which is quite nice so yeah, we're just gonna see what plan we can do with this. And then there's also another cupboard there for storage, like a really long one. 
and then also there's shelves over here so this room is full of storage and we don't exactly need all of that we just want to put a desk here so that Juno can have this as his office Crocky, we spotted another one it's the rare Juno cleaning <laughs> is that not funny? <laughs> you meant to laugh at my joke? supposed to help me <laughs> So we managed to get the big board off that was at the top, but we think that these cupboards are actually fitted in, so we can't move them or take them apart. Yeah, okay. We managed to get it well, I can't take any credit for this. Juno you know, managed to get it off. <laughs> and I just held this. <laughs> that has opened up so much space as well. I can't really see it in the camera, but it had. We did it! Woohoo! We got them apart. Did I? To be honest, today felt like we did so much, but if you look around. What? I'm off. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> today it felt like we did so much, and we did, but looking around, it literally looks like we're back to square one. I think what took the longest was the study and getting everything apart. And then we also had to clean the headboard, which took ages. <laughs> Shame on you. So we just whipped up some pasta with lentil bolognese, and I think we're going to watch some Gordon Ramsay Hotel Hall and just call it a day. It is quite a few days later, I'm not going to lie, and so much has changed <laughs> since we last left off. The bedroom is finished, the study is basically finished, the bathroom, didn't really have much to do there. Um, the only things that we need to like change, um, we've got a spare mattress that's just chilling in our living room that needs to be sold. The TV we want to sell, um, and then there's like two pieces of furniture that we need to move around. And then the old bed that was in the study that you guys saw, that we took out, we've actually taken all of that out um, and then a family member is going to use one of the pieces and then we just need to see who wants to use the other half. But other than that, the next video after this, we are so close to doing a house tour, which is so exciting. I'm going to put like the before and after side by side. Um, but let me just show you what the bedroom is looking like. It's obviously not 100% finished or like how we would like it, but it is a lot better than what it used to be. So I went to Mr. Price home the other day and I bought this new bedding. I love the little bee pillow and then the green matches with the green little um, throw over there. We did put up that picture, but yeah, not too sure if we're going to keep it there yet. This obviously, hey, we just want to change because we don't like the mirror, how it looks over there. And then just on the other side of me, that also needs to change a bit. But we want to have this as like decor shelves. Um, and then other than that, yeah, my little workspace. We need to just sort out what's happening over there. I don't know if you can hear me because there's construction happening behind us. Um, and it's also really weird to film myself at a public place obviously because of COVID I haven't done this in a long time anyway and I do have my mask in my bag but we are in a big open space so we don't have to wear it anyway um we have just come to the nursery to find some plants because our garden is looking a little bit scarce and Babe and I both love plants we have tons of indoor plants but we want to get some obviously for outside as well the only problem is that there's no um, grass or like a lot of soil so we need to put everything in pots
to our babies. Number one. Number two. We can get drunk. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> You're like in a forest. So you guys won't believe it. We went to the nursery just to go look for like a few small pots and plants and stuff. We came back with a flippin' olive tree. <laughs> it was on special for I think a hundred rand. I don't know what that is in dollars. Maybe what like eight, nine, ten dollars marked down and I don't know why they wanted to get rid of it so we need to think of a name for our plant I'm just gonna get dressed into something that is not this so that we can go and do some gardening it is quite grey and like cold-ish outside but it's humid as well so I think it's actually the perfect day to garden where are my clothes? I think they're in the lounge um, I'm gonna give you guys like a little update on what the house looks like in a bit Right, so let me show you all of our new little plant babies that we got. It's looking so cool. Obviously, it's not like completely done yet. Um, okay, so we got some apple mint and rosemary and oregano. And then this is our glorious olive tree that we just got. Um, so we need to just think of a name for him or her. Um, these babies, I think Juno got last week. And then what else is new? Oh, then here we just got this lavender today um, and then this succulent and then also around the other side of the garden we got some more plants. But I think it's looking so cute. It's so much better than just the soil that was originally here. Our main goal is to have a herb garden or like a little veggie garden for all of our three herbs over there. Um, but we're just not sure if we want to put it on this side or on the other side of the garden that gets some more sun. Um, but yes, this is our little succulent haven at the moment. I'm just about to make dinner. I'm just going to do some um, roasted carrots and we've got some broccoli here. But I can go and pick some fresh herbs from the garden for the first time. It's, it's like the little things in life that I get so excited about. I'm going to pick some rosemary oh I think I need two hands for this ah, it smells so good I am so excited for this I don't even know why I'm vlogging this this is a moving vlog and not like a what I eat in a day vlog but ah, I'm so proud of my little veggies like ah. I don't know why always just cooking with vegetables makes me so excited does anyone else get like this but I get so excited on the carrots we just got some smoked paprika, garlic, olive oil and honey to give it like a sweet smoky kind of flavor and then on the broccoli we just have some Himalayan salt, fresh rosemary on that side, olive oil and garlic and then with this I am just going to also make some veggie patties I think because I bought like some new veggie patties um, today uh, but anyway like I said this is a moving vlog I just had to show you my rosemary from the garden <laughs> 